Do you remember 2020? The year when gaming became mainstream once more. Or the year where you're spending evenings and days playing with boys. And it was completely normal. Playing COD and CSGO and Overwatch or whatever the games that you wanted and enjoying the crap out of it. But as years have passed by, this feeling kind of disappeared. The joy was gone and everyone was trying to rekindle this feeling and failing over and over again. But this game did just that. This game actually rekindles the feeling of playing with your friends, even when you were playing completely and in my opinion, this is the best multiplayer co-op game on the market today. And weirdly enough, this is one of the few games that is getting more and more and more and more players as time passes by, despite it actually being released more than three years ago. And yeah, this game is none other than Deep Rock Galactic, the game that has a cult-like following. And every time you mention this game anywhere, the people are flocking either one of two phrases, either we're rich or rock and stone. And I know why this happens. But if you haven't heard about this game, well, first things first, shame on you. What is this game and what it does so differently. Well, game is happening kind of like in a future where you are controlling this futuristic space war and your goal is to descend into this bug infested planets and well, mine different resources. And depending on missions, you do it in quite different ways. Like for example, in several missions, all you can do is just go and mine different resources and then get the hell out of there. In some missions, you're protecting different objectives. In other resources, you're actually trying to build pipelines to gather the liquid resources. And depending on the missions, you are doing different stuff and you can do this with one of four different classes each class is basically jack of all trades can actually perform every duty more or less well but they're more specializing on one particular stuff like for example the gunner can well, the gunner has the big and bulky gun that can mow down the enemies the scout has a grappling hook allowing you to reach resources and traverse different biomes quite fast engineer can build turrets and platforms and driller well can well basically drill really quickly and i have to mentioned that this game is happening entirely underground and underground is very dark and can be quite straining for your eyes especially when you're looking at this blue morkite and this flashlight and things like that and this might be an eye straining for you and with more and more time spent behind the screens you need a good eye protection and that's where our sponsored avenue will help you and you can do this with this ascender glasses which are very stylish and actually very comfortable with its special lenses it reduces eye strain improves your concentration and encourages your eye reflexes and most importantly, it helps you with your sleep. So no more restless nights after playing games. And even if that doesn't help you, you can always get an offline gummies by Avenir themselves. It will help you get a good night's sleep anytime. And for you only and for the limited time, you'll get 25% discount if you'll follow the link in the description down below or in a pinned comment. So go and grab something with 25% on me. And thanks Avenir for sponsoring this video. And yes, game is happening entirely underground. And you might think that it can become boring very quickly because you will see everything very quickly, right? Wrong. Game is actually entirely procedural generated and no two missions will be the same for you because every time you descend you can descend into completely different territories yes game has different biomes and the biomes actually are rotating meaning that every time you enter the game you are choosing different type of game biomes and the gameplay and i think they're rotating in every 30 minutes and every time you enter the game you're gonna have a different set of biomes to play in but okay enough of a disjointed talk let's talk about an actual gameplay loop the things that you will actually see when you actually launch the game well first thing that will happen is you're gonna get into the hub area and hub area is incredibly important and very interesting place. This is the place where you hang out with your friends and you can play with up to three different friends. You can mean that you can have a group of four people. And if you're playing alone, of course, you will be alone in this hub. And this hub area where you actually choose different missions, where you upgrade your characters, where you choose different classes, where you choose different perks, and also just hang out by exploring this pretty big territory and even playing mini games together. Or if you just want, you can even get drunk together, play there, dance around, and then go into the mission is completely wasted. This game actually allows you to do that. And the different parts of the hub area are actually locked for you, but you unlock them by completing different assignments. And assignment is basically a very long tutorial that takes you through everything that game has to do. And as for the missions, you choose the missions on a mission board based on the rotating biome on rotating missions. And you can either play solo, join other people's games if you want, or host your own game if you want. And then jump into the mission directly. If you're playing solo, you're gonna play alone, but you 
you're gonna have a help which will be a robot named Basco. Basco is all around robot that can do practically anything. It can mine, it can fight, and it can carry different things, and it's insanely useful. If you're hosting the game, you're immediately gonna jump into the game, and when someone else will join you, they're gonna just spawn where you are. No, not just spawn, they're actually gonna drill down whatever in a place that you are and continue helping you from there. And if you're gonna join other people's games, you're gonna well join in whatever place they are in the game. It's incredibly seamless and not frustrating at all. And then you're just gonna complete objectives together. It's insanely easy and very fun to do. You have five mission difficulties, not counting dip dives, and depending on how hard or how easy that you want it to be, well, it's as hard and as easy as you want it to be. Lower difficulties helps you to understand what the game is, and higher difficulties are kicking your ass in every step of the way. But you might think, okay, that sounds incredibly generic, right? And it does. What are you doing this for? Why do you need to jump into different missions over and over and over again? Well, the answer is progression. Because unlike many other multiplayer games that are ditching progression for no reason at all, this game actually doesn't have one. When you mine resources underground, you actually are using every type of resources for different types of progressions because everything is a currency in this game. Every weapon, every gadget actually has its own skill tree and you are unlocking different skills and different perks for everything. And all, of course, all different classes have their own skill trees. And every single weapon that you can choose different weapons have their own skill trees. And also separately, you have an entire perk system that gives you a bunch of different abilities like ability to self-revive yourself or having a jet boots and a bunch of different things like that. Also, you have incredibly fun customization and cosmetic system. And you, of course, you also have a battle pass. And do you know what's most important? Everything in here is free, except for the sum of the customization that you can buy for the real money as well. But even battle pass is completely free in this game. I have never seen a game that has a completely free battle pass. This one does have it. You're, and with every mission, you're unlocking new things, you're upgrading things more and more and more. And most importantly, this does not feel like a grind because the community of this game, no matter who you're playing with, is incredibly friendly and passionate about this game. I have never seen the community as good as it is in a Deep Rock Galactic. I have never seen that one. I have never seen anything like that. And to be fair, this game is the first game that I have ever seen that can be very fun solo with friends and with randoms all at once. The game is not asking huge time commitments from you. You can just go in and play and have fun immediately on your first playthrough, on your first match. And if you are the one who is perfectionist and want to complete everything, you will have a bunch of things to do as well. People are friendly. They are helping you. There are a lot and a lot and a lot of people who are playing the game at all times. The game has at minimum 5 to 15,000 daily players. And it is rising year after year. I have never seen anything like that. Game is easy to understand, fun to play, fun to progress. What else can you want from the game? And it looks amazing with its insanely beautiful art style and it sounds amazing as well because you will feel like you are deep, deep, deep in the cave. What else you want in this game? What else you want from any game? This game is doing everything practically perfectly. So just don't waste your time. Get the game. You can get it incredibly cheap and just enjoy it whether you're playing alone or with complete randoms. It doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna see you there deep down low. Rock and stone, baby. Well, this should be for today. Thank you for being here with me. Like the video, like the video, like the video, like this one. And I'm gonna see you in the next one. See ya.